So, first off, what inspired you to be a teacher? Um, one of the things that was really cool when I was growing up is my teachers were always super kind mm -hmm. to me. And uh, so I really liked that a lot. And I loved learning new things. And so it was kind of fun because I always learn things here. I, mm -hmm. I certainly don't know it all yet. I taught for a long time. So I don't know everything. So that was pretty much it. Just really great teachers who cared. They weren't always the best teachers as far as what I learned, but at least they cared. Yeah. How'd you land on this class specifically, teaching creative writing in English? Um, I taught creative writing, well, I used to do creative writing on my own when I was in college. I did a lot of poetry classes and a lot of poetry publication stuff. And then um, when I taught at my second high school in Kalamazoo, um, they asked me if I would do the creative writing class, and I kind of played with it. And then I hadn't taught it again for, oh, almost 20 years. And then it became open, and I said, well, I'll give that a shot again. And it's been a uh, rejuvenation type, type thing. So mm -hmm. some, some really good. It's a huge class this semester, 31. It's a, it's a tough group. Uh, um, I think I'm coming up with maybe some decent ideas. That's always the trick is finding something that everybody cares about, even if they, um, in the elective class, you have the kids who want to be here, the kids who kind of want to be here, and then the kids who got put here. Mm -hmm. you know, so. Yeah, I'm enjoying the class so far. I appreciate so, that, thanks. Um, what's your best advice for aspiring writers or just storytellers in general? Just take the risk. Get out there and start writing it down. And eventually an audience is going to be found for you. And maybe the audience um, will have to build itself slowly and be patient for that audience to build itself. Um, we have a former student. She's a student of mine, uh, but I taught her in English uh, Honors English 10 years ago. I wasn't her creative writing teacher then. But she's now published her second novel, and she's doing author tours wow. and all kinds of stuff. So it's pretty darn exciting. That's for amazing. Her. Yeah. yeah. Um, do you have a favorite book? I have quite a few favorite books, but one of my favorites is a book called Little John by a guy named Howard Owen. It tells the story of an old man who has to reconcile a bit um, with a tragedy that he caused when he was a kid, and then he has to help his grandson who's struggling through life point of it and so it's a it's a battle at first and it comes out pretty exciting at the end. Okay. I'll have to check it out. I'm looking for a few books to read at the moment. Okay. So um what do you think is the most underrated aspect to a good story? I think when we begin reading new stories we sometimes are impatient as the groundwork is is laid. And so we like to be excited from the very first moment instead mm -hmm. of having the patience to see where they're building to. And sometimes um, I kind of tell it to my kids, like if you looked at a painting, if we went to the art museum and looked at a painting, you could see that entire painting all at once. Mm -hmm. And then we can kind of judge whether it works for us or doesn't. Maybe it's, maybe it's something that we like and maybe it's something that we hate. But nonetheless, you get to see the whole thing, but you can't do that for a book till it's all the way done. Right. It takes discovery and time to figure it all out. Absolutely. And you'll get to book the ending of books, and, and they'll be uh, they'll be something that never did speak to you. And I've had that, too. And sometimes that's frustrating. So you searching for who does this appeal to, why did somebody think this was worthy of publication? Mm -hmm. When you're writing, how important do you think originality is, staying away from kind of cliches? and? Well, it depends on where you are. Mm -hmm. If you're just starting, use them use them because you haven't experienced enough to start creating your own and you might not have the confidence in your writing so you know these lines work and these tropes work or these motifs work but what am I going to do that's absolutely original maybe I'm not ready for that yet and maybe okay. my audience isn't ready for that yet using them as a tool instead of yeah. a crutch yeah. maybe and maybe that'll help you bridge a gap where you can come up with a small piece that's new and then another the next time something that's a little bit uh, bigger, and the next time a little something that's bigger. Awesome. What do you think the most important skill as a writer is to develop? Uh, courage. Courage? Courage. Just try it. Let the words come out as silly as they might be. As much as we've told you, don't use this word in a final publication, don't say this. Get your ideas out fast, and then go back and revise, and understand that you may not like some of the stuff that you read. Most of us really hate to revise our pieces. 
And I think it's mostly because we're recognizing it's not done yet. Mm -hmm. And we like to be done with everything. And so courage and patience, probably. Well, that's just about to do it. Thank Perfect. you. I no appreciate problem. your time. Thank you. Good questions.